Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to finish up our 1970 college playoff tournament. And then there were two. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers for Memorial Stadium in Nebraska. Both teams obviously are 2-0. and They won their games. Nebraska trounced their way through the competition, while Notre Dame did struggle at times, but they did win, and they are here. The winner will be crowned champion of 1970 NCAA college football. Notre Dame, in the final AP poll, was number two. And Nebraska was number one. Both teams were number one in their respective brackets. Notre Dame was 10-1. and one, Nebraska, 11-0-1. So let's get ready to rumble as we get set for kickoff. Joining us here in Nebraska at Memorial Stadium, Jack Dawson. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. And Philip Reynolds. Let's go to the starting lineups for these two great college football teams. Notre Dame is coached by Era Parsegian and Nebraska Bob Devaney. For the Fighting Irish at running back, Gullius and Allen. The wideouts, Gatewood and Trap. The tight end is Creaney. The quarterback is Joe Theismann. Tackles are Martin and Dampier. The guards are Donardo and Koss. The center is Novakoff. For the Nebraska Cornhuskers, the running backs are Duna and Kenny. Rodgers and Ingles, your wide out. The tight end is Liss. Jerry Taggy is the quarterback. At tackle, Newton and Winter. The guards are Rumpert and McGee. The center is Dumbler. On defense, Notre Dame 4-3. The ends are Potolsky and Niedert. The defensive tackles, Marks and Kadish. Linebackers, Kelly, Wright and Toman. The defensive backfield, the cornerbacks, Ellis and Stepaniak. Safeties, Crowdy and Eaton. Cornhuskers, they're down four. The ends, Edkins and Harper. The tackles, Perlard and Jacobson. Linebackers, Terrio, Murloth and Morak. The defensive backfield, cornerbacks, Blahek and Anderson. Safeties, Mason and Kosh. And it's time for kickoff. Let's get to the field. Notre Dame has won the toss and the elect to receive. Back deep for the Irish, Parker. Short men are Duane and Nightingale. The return is on. The kickoff by the Cornhuskers. Feel it at the 10, 20, 25, 30. And that's where Notre Dame will start. First and 10 on their 30. Let's change this up as I was playing professional football. Alrighty, so again, Notre Dame first and 10 on their 30. Theismann under center. Gullius and Allen are your running backs. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creaney is the tight end. Notre Dame. A screen to Danny Allen on first and 10. Incomplete. A good job by Nebraska disrupting that screenplay. 
They were doubling Gatewood, 4-3, playing basic pass. Second and ten, second and ten for the Irish. Theisman calls his own number, sweep right. And Joe gets nothing, no gain, smothered under by the front seven of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Tack will be credited to Willie Harper. It will be a third and ten now for the Fighting Irish. They have not moved an inch from that 30-yard line. Third and ten. We're going to look screen to Allen again. Third and ten. Theisman completes it to Allen. Allen's got the first down. He breaks a tackle. And Notre Dame picks up 12. They move the chains. Good job by Theisman in the fighting Irish offense. Tackle by Jerry Murloff of Nebraska. First and ten for the Irish on their 42. Gullius will get the carry on a run counter. Off tackle right. Gullius smothered under. He struggles for a one-yard gain. Great reaction once again by that Nebraska defense. Tackle will be credited to David Morrock. That's his second. So it's going to be second and nine for the Irish on their 43. They're going to go screen to Ed Gullius. On second and nine. Incomplete. Great job disrupting that play by Willie Harper. And they were keying Gullis, the Cornhuskers were. So it's going to be a third and nine here on the Notre Dame 43. Opening drive of the game for the Fighting Irish. Third and nine. Short slant to Creeny, the tight end. Theisman back to pass. Over the middle to Creeny. Come! Oh, he dropped it! He dropped it right through the hands of Creeny. That would have been enough for the first down. And he dropped the ball. Here is the replay. Theisman put it right on Creeny's hands between two defenders. And he dropped the ball. Era Parsegian, none too happy with that. And now on fourth and nine, Notre Dame will punt. Jim Yoder to do the punting. The dangerous Johnny Rogers back deep for Nebraska. Rogers fields it around the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and brought down. 20 yard return for Rogers. And here come the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Taggies under center. Orduna and Kenny, your running backs. Rogers and Ingles, your wide out. List is the tight end. 4-3 set for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. They slant their down four to the right. Eaton comes up and runs support. They're going to play run. It's a handoff. And nothing there as Wright makes the tackle on Orduna. It'll be a loss of one. As Notre Dame's defense is up for the challenge. Second and 11. Second and 11. Again, the down four will shift to the right. Man pass coverage. Taggy. It's a handoff. It's going to be a big run. Close to the first down, and it is. 12 yards for Jeff Kenny. Brought down by Eaton. Second and I'm sorry, first and 10 on the Nebraska 42. Cornhuskers come to the line of scrimmage. Taggy surveys the situation. Notre Dame again shifts right with their down four. And Eaton comes up and runs support. They're going to play man run coverage. It's a give up the middle to Orduna and again smothered under. Front seven. Prevents any yardage. The tackle will be credited to the Fighting Irish's Tim Kelly. That's his first. So it's going to be second and nine. And they do give Orduna one yard. So it's second and nine. Four, three set for the Fighting Irish. Split backfield for the Cornhuskers. Taggy barks out the signals. Man run coverage. 
It's a give. Orduna goes to the left. Minimal gain. He looks like he picked up one on the trap play. Jim Wright with the tackle for the Irish. Brings up a third and eight for the Fighting Irish. Uh, third and eight for Nebraska. On their 44. They stick with that split backfield. The Irish stick with the 4-3. Again, they're going to slide right towards the tight end with their down four. Third and eight. They will show blitz, but they won't blitz. Wright will spy the quarterback. And they're going to play man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. He scrambles. Throws. He hits the tight end. But it's going to be well short. It's only a gain of three. Crowdy brings him down. So the Irish hold. And that will force a Cornhusker punt on fourth and five. Irish set up for the return. Here's the punt by Nebraska. Fielded around the 12. And it's a short return as Crowdy was quickly hemmed in, only a return of one yard. So with 10.23 left in the first quarter, we have no score in our 1970 Elite Eight playoff championship game between the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Theismann takes the field once again. Split backs are Gullius and Allen, Gatewood and trap your wideouts. Creaney is the tight end. Creaney dropped that ball that would have... Allowed the Notre Dame drive to continue previously. Trap right, Danny Allen on first and ten. And Allen has a small hole, and he burrows through it for three yards. It will be second and seven. Gullius will get the call on a trap right. Again, they go trap right, and Gullis burrows like a groundhog. He picks up two yards. Third and five now, under 10 minutes of play in the first quarter. Theisman surveys the situation. Short hitch to Tom Gatewood. Theisman back to pass. He throws. Complete to Gatewood. Brought down by Balak. It's a gain of seven. The Fighting Irish move the chains. First and ten for the Irish on their 26. Don't like that play. Short hitch to Creaney, the tight end on first and ten. Theisman under duress, scrambles, throws deep. And it's caught. He hits the running back out of the backfield. It's a huge play for the Fighting Irish. 39 yards. Unbelievable. Theisman under duress, scrambling, and he hits the running back for 39 yards as Allen... Out of the backfield, finds a huge seam in that Cornhusker defense. Here is the big replay. Theismann scrambling, throwing. Creaney was covered. He hits Allen, and that is a 39-yard pickup. First and 10 for the Irish on the Nebraska 35. The Irish break the huddle. Danny Allen. Pitch right to Danny Allen. Can he gain the corner? He does! Good job by Allen. Harper brings him down by the ankles, but it's a gain of four. Second and six for the Irish on the Nebraska 31. To the line of scrimmage come the Irish. Screen to Ed Gullis. Gullis has it. He's got some running room. He's close to the first. Breaks two tackles. Finally brought down by the Cornhuskers' Terrio. But it's another gain of 11. They move the chains once again. Notre Dame first and 10 on the Nebraska 20. Theisman calls his own number. Sweep right. Joe Theisman. Theisman breaks one tackle, and now he burrows like a gopher. He picks up four. Joe Blalack with his second tackle. The Cornhuskers were in a 4-3 basic, doubling Tom Gatewood. Cornhuskers have to rebound here on defense. 
Irish keeping them off balance. Second and six from the Nebraska 16. Gullis on the draw. Delayed handoff to Gullis. Gullis finds a little bit of space, but it is quickly closed down by Perlard and company. No gain. And they were keying Gullis. They, they smelled something. They smelled what the Irish were cooking, that's for sure. Third and six. Third and six for the Fighting Irish. Field goal attempt here for the Irish. Hempel, 91% chance of success. That means nothing for an Al Red Sox fan coached team when it comes to our kickers. Usually, no matter what happens, it's bad. All right, third and six. Third and six. Creeny. We're going to go play action fake. Short slant to Mike Creeny. Chance for redemption. Creeny dropped a ball thrown to him. We're going to stick with the play call. Feisman back to pass. He throws. Touchdown, Creeny. He didn't drop that one. As Creeny goes in for the score. And the fighting Irish have put up six. Here is the replay, Theismann to Creeny. Feisman moving around in the pocket. Creeny splits the seam, and he's in for six. They will go for the extra point. The snap, the place, the kick, and it is good. 7 nothing Irish with 6.09 to play in the first quarter. Our good friend, Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming has joined us here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska to witness this championship game. Remember to check out Glory Days Boxing, which can be purchased on sidelinestrategy.com. Bantamweight set soon to be out. The list is up on the Facebook page and can be viewed. Once again, Glory Days Boxing, brought to you by your good friend Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming. Heavyweights, middleweights, welterweights, light heavyweights, lightweights, and now bantamweights. All to your boxing table. So much fun, card and dice. All right, Notre Dame set for the kickoff. They're up 7 to nothing. Hempel will be doing the kicking. Back deep, the very dangerous Johnny Rogers for Nebraska. The short men are Kenny and Holstein. Here's the kickoff by Hempel and the Irish. Irish come flying down the field. They kick away from Rogers. To the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and brought down. So the short man, Kenny. Holding, receiving team. And all for naught, the 42-yard return will be nullified on a holding call on Nebraska. So that's going to back them up. First and 10 on their nine. And the Nebraska sideline is shaking their heads for sure. Once again, split backfield for the Cornhuskers. Orduna and Kenny are your backs. Rogers and Ingles, your wideouts, list the tight end. Jerry Taggy under center. 4-3 set for the Fighting Irish, who lead 7-0 with 5.58 to play in the first quarter of this championship game, 1970. Down four, shift to the left. Eaton comes up and runs support. Man, run coverage. It's a reverse. And Notre Dame stays at home. They limit Rodgers, the speedy Johnny Rodgers, to four yards, making the tackle. Walt Paltulski. Second and six. Nebraska to the line of scrimmage. The down four shift right. Four three set for the Irish. Second and six. Eaton up and run support. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw. No, it's reversed to the tight end. And Tolman brings down the tight end. Rick Tolman brings down Doug Dumpler. Actually, Doug Dumpler missed his block, excuse me. I think that was a tight end reverse. Either way, a horrific play, no gain. It's third and six, holy cow. 
Taggy surveys the situation. Notre Dame's down four will shift to the left. Third and six. Right will spy Taggy. Man pass coverage. Taggy back the pass. Moving around the pocket. He takes off scrambling and he is brought down. Only a one-yard gain. Notre Dame was waiting for the scrambling Taggy. It is fourth and five and the Irish D has smothered the Cornhusker offense so far with 4.46 to play in the first quarter. 7-0 fighting Irish. Here comes the punt team. The return is on for the Irish. The punt by the Cornhuskers fielded around midfield. And fair catch. Crowdy signals for the fair catch on the 44-yard punt. Notre Dame has it first and 10 on their 42. Theismann, who threw a touchdown pass to the tight end, Creaney, in the last drive. Once again under center. Gullis and Allen, your split backs. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creaney, the tight end. Creaney needs a rest here, so let's get him out and bring in John Tereschuk. So here's Tereschuk. A woodchuck, chuck, Tereschuk. Here we go. First and 10 for Notre Dame on their 42. Allen will get the call. Run counter. Run counter. Trap left. They'll stick with the play call. Allen finds no place to burrow there. Struggles for a one-yard gain. Brought down quite rudely by the front seven of the Cornhuskers. Tackle will be credited to Nebraska's Ed Perlard. That's his second. Second and nine now for the Irish. They come to the line of scrimmage. Screen to Ed Gullis. They're going to stick with the play call. Theismann. Incomplete. They were keying Gullis. Ed Perlard provided the pressure on Theismann. And Willie Harper broke up the screen. So here's a third and nine for the Irish from their 43. They could squander this good field position. Screen to Allen on third and nine. Allen has it. He has some blockers, but he's going to come up short. He picks up seven. Now bring up fourth and two from midfield. Era Parsegian doesn't even think about it. He sends out the punt team. Trying to pin the Cornhuskers back with 322 to play in the first quarter. 7 nothing. Notre Dame. The dangerous Johnny Rogers is back deep. Here's the punt. Rogers fields it around the 10. Flag on the play. And they pick it up as Rogers signaled for the fair catch. So the officials talk about it and they say no yellow hanky. Jerry Taggy once again under center. Split backs or Duna and Kenny. Rogers and Ingles, your wideouts, list the tight end. 7 nothing Irish. 4-3 set for the Fighting Irish. Down four, shift to the left. Eaten up and run support. Man, run defense. It's a run up the middle and no place to go. Being bottled up and brought down is Orduna. He struggles for a yard. Rick Toman with his second tackle for Notre Dame. It's now second and nine. Irish shift to the right with their down four. Second and nine. Eaten up in run support. They're going to play man run coverage again. Taggy's going to throw on second down. And he is sacked by Poltulski. Poltulski comes around the end. And he is brought down. Could have been a busted play. But it is a sack. And it will bring up third and 12. Walt Poltulski has been Johnny on the spot for two tackles. Third and 12 now. The Irish will go with a 4-2 nickel. Down four, shift to the right. Third and 12. They're going to show blitz. They're not going to blitz. Right will spy. Taggy 
Man pass coverage. Out of the nickel. Taggy moving around in the pocket. Looking, looking, looking. He throws. Incomplete. Nearly picked off by Notre Dame. Great job by the Fighting Irish defense. Once again, forcing the Cornhuskers to punt from deep in their own territory with 1.39 left in the first quarter. 7-0 Irish. The return is on for the Fighting Irish. Here's the punt by Nebraska. Fielded near midfield. Fair catch is signaled by Crowdy. 45-yard punt. Notre Dame has to take advantage of this field position, folks. First and 10 on their 47. 129 left in the first quarter. 7-0 Notre Dame. Gullis and Allen, your split backs. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. And Terrace Chuck is the tight end. Let's see. Creeny is at 97, so we'll keep Terrace Chuck in there. Theisman, once again, under center, surveying the situation. Now they go from the split backs to the I formation. The up back being Allen. Gullis behind him. Allen on the run counter. Off tackle right. Allen, not much there at all. He is hit, goes sideways, falls forward for a yard. And we have an injury for the Fighting Irish. Novikov limps off the field. Word from the sideline, his return is probable. So it's going to be second and nine, second and nine. Short and quick to Gatewood. They're going to stick with the play call. Feisman throwing quick to Gatewood. Gatewood has it, and he is quickly hit. He struggles for two yards, making the tackle for the Cornhuskers. His fourth tackle is Joe Blahak. Be safe, Anthony, and have a good practice, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Bleacher Bums Gaming. Remember, check out Glory Days Boxing on sidelinestrategies.com. We will have our championship fight between Muhammad Ali and Joe Lewis coming up in the very near future. All right, third and seven. They go back to the split backs. Third and seven. And Creeny's going to come back in. At tight end. Screen. Wide receiver screen to Gatewood. They're setting it up. Theisman throws incomplete. Once again, Theisman under duress. And Nebraska was doubling Tom Gatewood. Good job by the Cornhuskers. So N Notre Dame with good field position on, to start their drives on their last two possessions. Come away with nothing. They're going to have to punt. And here comes Jim Yoder once again to do the punting. Rodgers back deep for the Cornhuskers. 40 seconds left in this first quarter. 7-0 Notre Dame. Rodgers from his 5. 15, 20, 25. Flag on the play. Illegal block. Receiving team. So the 22-yard return by Johnny Rogers is nullified by the illegal block by Terrio. Cornhuskers continue to shoot themselves in the foot. 26 seconds this will probably be the last play of the first quarter. Cornhuskers have it first and 10 on there for Orduna and Kenny are split backs. Rogers and Ingles, your wideouts, lists the tight end. Jerry Taggy is the quarterback trying to get something going here. Notre Dame's down four. Out of there, four, three. We'll shift to the right. Eaton comes up in run support. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw from his end zone. He scrambles. He's under duress. He drops it to the running back. He's close to the first down, and he's got it. He hits Kenny out of the backfield. They're looking for the long pass to Ingles, but that was well covered, and that will end the first quarter. So the Cornhuskers are able to get out from the shadow of their own end zone, first and 10, on their 14 here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska is Captain Carl 8. Hope all is well. And Captain Carl says, go Irish! Irish up 7 nothing. Notre Dame again sticks with that 4-3. Down 4, slide to the right. Eaton comes up and runs support. Man run coverage. 
It's a run. And it goes nowhere. It is a loss of one as Orduna has more black and blues than yards gained. Making the big hit along with a lot of fighting Irish defenders was Jim Wright. That's his third tackle. And Bob Newton missed the block there. So it's second and 11. And going out wide, this is quite interesting, going out wide for Nebraska is Jeff Kenny. Kenny, a good receiver out of the backfield, now is lining up wide, sort of like right, right near the tight end. So that leaves Orduna in the backfield. This is quite interesting for Nebraska here. Irish will slide left with their down four. Second and 11. They're going to show blitz, but they're not going to blitz. Man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. Moving around in the pocket. He throws to the out. And it's caught. What a catch. 15 yards. What a catch. A one-handed grab by Johnny Rogers. He's pushed out of bounds by Clarence Ellis. Oh, my Lord. That looked like it was going to be incomplete. Watch this catch by Johnny Rogers on the sideline. It looked like it was going to be incomplete. He goes up, gets that one foot in. That's all you need in college. And they move the chains once again. Cornhuskers down by seven. First and ten for Nebraska on their 28. To the line of scrimmage they come. Notre Dame's down four. Shifts right. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage. It's a give. And it's a give to nowhere. Except for some black and blues for Kenny. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Smothered under by that Notre Dame front seven. Jim Wright credited with his fourth tackle. Second and 10. 14-12 left in the first half. 7 nothing Notre Dame. Down four again. Shift to the right. Notre Dame shows blitz. They're not going to blitz. Man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. He scrambles. He throws towards the middle. It's almost picked off. They were looking for Kenny. Out of the backfield. Great job by the Fighting Irish. Brings up a crucial third and ten for Nebraska with 344 left in the first half. They trail by seven. And again, I believe that's Kenny out wide. No, it's Jorduna out wide this time. So Kenny is left in the backfield. Third and ten. They're going to shift their defensive line split to the middle to try to stop a draw. Wright will spy Taggy. Man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. He's looking. He's looking. He throws. Get incomplete. Crotty puts the kibosh on Orduna who drops the ball, or Duna slow to get up as he goes staggering to the sideline. The Nebraska coaching staff and players wanted a flag, but there is no flag thrown. On 4th and 10, once again, Nebraska's offense goes off the field, and here comes the punt team. Notre Dame sets up for the return. 7-0, Fighting Irish, 13-35 left in the half. And it's a return... Of six by Crowdy. So the Fighting Irish and Joe Theismann will have it first and ten on their 31. Gullis and Allen, your split backs. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creeny is the tight end. Theismann again under center. Read option left. Read option left, Theisman to keep. Theisman on the keeper. And he has popped. He probably should have pitched that one. He kept it. No gain. Tripped up by Murloff. So it's going to be second and 10. 13 17 left in the first half. Second and 10. Creeny. Play action fake. Short cross. Hot. Theismann back in the pocket, looking over the middle to Creeny. Incomplete. You can see both safeties break to the ball. And that ball was swatted away by Billy Kosh. They were doubling Gatewood, but that was a great reaction by the safeties of Nebraska. So it's now third and ten. Third and ten. Third and ten. Screen to Ed Gullis on third and ten. Can they move the chains in this big situation? Gullis, incomplete. Theismann 
under duress, running for his life, tried to underhand it to Gullis. As he was brought down, Willie Harper provided the pressure. And it's now fourth down, and here comes the Irish and the punt squad. Jim Yoder will do the punting. The dangerous Johnny Rogers back for Nebraska. Yoder hoping for a high, deep punt. Rogers fields it, and he has to call for a fair catch on the 25. Great job by Yoder. So here comes Nebraska and Jerry Taggy. First and 10 on their 24. They trail by a touchdown. Arduna and Kenny are your split backs. Rodgers and Ingles, your wideouts. List is the tight end. 4-3 for Notre Dame. They will slide left with their down four. Eaton comes up in run support. Man run coverage. It's a handoff. And a good, tough run by Orduna. He picks up five. Six carries, six yards, and a lot of black and blues for Joe Orduna. Rick Toman picks up his third tackle for the Irish. Second and five. Down four for the Irish. Slide right. Eaton once again up in run support. Man run coverage. Taggy back to pass. He's looking. He's going to throw. Intercepted by Stepanek. They say he held on to the ball. And it is an interception by Ralph Stepanek. No return. The Nebraska sideline is going insane, but it's a pick. That's the first interception for Stepaniak, excuse me, of this college football tournament, playoff tournament. And what a time to get it. So Taggy is picked off. The Fighting Irish have to take advantage here. First and 10 on the Nebraska 38, Theismann who has thrown a touchdown pass to the tight end, Creaney, is under center. Gullis and Allen are your backs. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creaney is the tight end. Allen will go out wide. Gullis off tackle right. They're going to stick with the play call. Extra blocker. Gullis! And he burrows for six. The extra blocker on that side helps out. And it's second and four. 11.30 left in the first half. Again, Allen goes out wide. And again, Gullis, this time, sweep right. Can Gullis gain the corner? He does! First down and more! 20! And he is brought down from behind by Morak. 16 yards! As Notre Dame has been putting Allen out wide right next to Creaney, the tight end. And they're getting a little ground and pound here. First and 10 on the Nebraska 16. Again, Allen out wide. Gullis on the dive play this time. He's going to go up the middle. And he is hit hard. Keeps his legs churning. He'll pick up two. David Morrock for the Cornhuskers makes his fifth tackle. It will be second and eight from the Nebraska 14. Hempel warming up his leg on the sideline for a possible short field goal attempt. So it's second and eight. Allen again goes out wide. Run counter, trap left, Gullis. Gullis can go the other way. Will it pop? No, but he's popped by Murloff. Loss of two. Lucky to hold on to that ball. Ed Gullis, seven carries, 25 yards. They were keying Gullis. Jerry Murloff with his third tackle for Nebraska. A big third and 10 here. Third and 10. Three wideouts set now for Notre Dame. First time we've seen this. The wideouts, Gatewood, Trap, and Townsend. Gullis... And do we want, who do we want? Let's see if we're going to go with a different back here. Let's 
Larry Parker, not used much, will come in to the backfield in this three wide out set. He's a four receiver out of the backfield. Let's see what Parker can do here. They're going to go to the flat to Parker. Theisman is going to take off scrambling, and he will pick up five yards as Theisman didn't want to force the ball in. He picks up five yards brought down by Bill Kosh. It is now fourth and five, and here comes the field goal team and John Hempel. 95% chance of making it. The snap, the place, the kick. And it is dead center. Notre Dame goes up 10 to nothing with 9.19 left in the first half to the Boo Birds by the Cornhuskers fans here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska. So Hempel puts the ball on the tee. He sets the kickoff. Rogers deep, Kenny and Halston short. The kickoff by the Fighting Irish, who are up 10-0 with under 10 to play in the first half. Fielded short, and it's going to be brought out close to the 40. Mark Field! It is a good return by Kenny once again. They're kicking away from Rodgers, and Kenny picks up 39 yards, and there are no yellow hankies on the field. This time to save Notre Dame. To the joy of the Cornhuskers fans and sideline. So here comes Jerry Taggy away from the shadow of his own end zone finally. They're down 10. Taggy threw a pick that led to the Hempel field goal. It's Orduna and Kenny, your running backs. It's a split backfield. Rodgers and Ingles, your wideouts. List is the tight end. Notre Dame with a 4-3. The down four will shift to the left. Eaton comes up and runs support. Man run coverage. It's a give, it's a handoff, and it goes to a bridge, not to Terabithia, but to nowhere. A loss of one. Donnie McGee missed his block. Bob Niedert makes his first tackle for Notre Dame. More black and blues for Joe Orduna. Second and 11, second and 11. Down four shift to the right. Notre Dame shows blitz, but they won't blitz. Wright will spy Taggy, and it's going to be man pass coverage. Taggy, it's a draw, and it's a decent run, but quickly the decent run turns into eh, not so good. Again, a three as Wright spying Taggy makes the tackle on Jeff Kenny. Kenny, three carries, 15 yards, so a big third and eight here for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. On the Notre Dame 45, they trail by 10 with 8.29 left in the first half. The down for the Fighting Irish, shift right. Third and eight. They show blitz, but they will not blitz. Once again, right will spy the very mobile Jerry Taggy. Man pass coverage. And Notre Dame doesn't like something. They call timeout. They look confused. They have two left now. As everyone calms themselves down, Notre Dame up 10 to nothing, 8.15 left in the half. I take a swig of water. Going out wide is Joe Orduna for Nebraska. Kenny stays in the backfield behind Taggy. The down four will shift left. Once again, right will spy Taggy from his linebacker spot. Notre Dame shows blitz, won't blitz, man pass coverage. Taggy scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. He throws incomplete. Just out of the reach of Ellis, who made a diving attempt. They're keeping, when Jerry Taggy wants to throw, they're just making him so uncomfortable in that pocket. He has those happy feet right now. And here comes the punt team once again. They're going to try to pin Notre Dame back. Notre Dame's going to set up for the return. Coming up, making the fair catch. No! Crowdy does not make the fair catch, but he is swarmed under. No gain. That's a tough, tough, tough play for Crowdy. He probably should have made the fair catch. Lucky to hold on to it. He took a big pop there. So Notre Dame is up 10-0. 7.59 to play in the half. First and 10 for Joe Theismann and the Fighting Irish offense on their 12. Parker will come out. Gullis will come back in. So it's Gullis and Allen 
Your split backs, Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creamy is the tight end. Theisman is the quarterback. Read option right. Theisman to keep. Theisman doesn't like what he sees. It will be a dive play to Gullis. He changes the play call. And Gullis puts his head down. Grinds for five. Tackle made by Jim Anderson of the Cornhuskers. That is Anderson's first. So a good good job by Theisman to audible out of that. It's going to be second and five now. Allen on the run counter on second and five. Trap left. There's Allen. And he goes nowhere. No gain. It's going to be third and five now. Good job by the Cornhuskers front seven. Jerry Murloff makes his fourth tackle. So third and five, seven, 17 left in the first half. Irish up 10 nothing in this championship game, 1970. Screen to Ed Gullis. Theisman doesn't like what he sees. Medium hitch to the tight end. Creeny. Theisman throws. Complete to Creeny. Tackled by Mason. Pickup of 20 yards, and they move the chains. So Theisman surveys the defense, changes the play at the line of scrimmage, and he hits the tight end, Creeny. Creeny dropped his first ball thrown to him. Since then, he has a touchdown and a big reception there. So the Irish, first and 10 on their 37, 643 to play in the first half. Allen will go out wide. Gullis off tackle right on first and ten. He'll, I think he's going to lose a yard, and he does. And Kosh for the Cornhuskers is limping off the field. Word from the sideline is he'll be out for a few plays. Terrio, Bob Terrio, makes the tackle for the Cornhuskers. That's his second. So it's going to be second and 11. Second and 11. Play action fake. Medium fly to Creeny, the tight end. Theisman, play action, looking, throws. He's got Creeny, and it's complete near midfield. Mason once again makes the tackle, pick up a 14. Creeny, three receptions, 50 yards, and a touchdown. He has really rebounded well since dropping that first ball thrown to him. So first and 10 for the Irish at midfield, 6-11 left in the half. Screen to Danny Allen. Theisman, again, doesn't like what he sees. Dive play to Gullis. Ed Gullis picks up two tough yards. Cornhuskers were doubling Tom Gatewood. Looking for the pass. So it's going to be second and eight. McClelland makes his first tackle for Nebraska. So second and eight from the Nebraska, 48. Short out to Bill Trapp. Theisman scrambles. He's got some running room. First down. Theisman scrambles for nine. He pumped once to Trapp as the pocket was collapsing, and then he was off to the races. Once again, Notre Dame moves the chains as they attriculate downfield. They have the ball in the Nebraska 39. They're wearing down this Cornhusker defense. Short hitch to Tom Gatewood. Theisman looking for Gatewood. He's going to take off running again. This time he takes a big pop. It's only a two-yard gain. Theisman... Helmet is skewed, gets up, he fixes it, tosses the ball to the official. 4.48 left in the half. 10-0 Fighting Irish, second and eight. Allen goes out wide. Theisman on the bootleg. Stick with the play call. Flag on the play. Ball start. Offense, oh. five-yard penalty. Era Repeat, second Arcegian down. does not like that. False start on the tight end, Creeny. Joining us here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska, 
our good friend Dave Gardner, and he says, let's go Mets. Hope all is well, Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave had a very successful return to the roller hockey rink. I believe he had an assist and a goal. Good job, Uncle Dave. Remember to check out Digital Dice, the podcast that is twice as nice. You can also check out Dave Gardner's YouTube channel where they post Digital to Dice. Second and 13 for the Irish. Theisman on the draw. Theisman drops back and he's going to take off running and he will pick up nothing as they smelled what the rock was cooking there. Jerry Murloff makes his sixth tackle. So the Cornhuskers' defense has stif stiffened up. As it's now 3rd and 13 from the Nebraska 42. They are not in field goal range. 3rd and 13. Creeny's at 88. We're going to keep him on the field, though. He's been our money man. Play action fake. Medium slant to Creeny. Can he split the safeties once again? Feisman! Complete to Creeny! Flag! He dropped it! Pass interference. Yes! Defense. Number 15. 10-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. So Mason got to Creeny a little too soon. Creeny still almost made the catch, but you could see himself and Eric Parsegian and the whole Notre Dame sideline going insane, but they got the yellow hanky, and deservedly so. It definitely was pass interference by the Cornhuskers. So the drive stays alive with 3.52 left in the half. 10 nothing Fighting Irish in this championship game of 1970. And Gullis will come off the field here. Let's give Gullis a rest. And Bill Bars will come in. So it's going to be Bars. And let's give Allen a rest here. I want a good blocking back. Uh, let me check really, 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 really quick. Uh, Bob Minix. It's going to be Bob Minix will come in. So we have a new backfield of Bob Minix and Bill Bars. He's a th three receiver, three run blocker, four six, four all. Oh. So Bars will go out wide. Minix will get. Oh, shoot. I put the wrong. Bars will go out wide. Minix will get the call. Off tackle right. Minix. Fresh backfield. Fresh legs. And a painful three yards. It looks like another Cornhusker player is injured. It's Jacobson. He goes jogging off the field. Word from the sideline. Uh, some sort of groin injury. His return is probable. Second and seven. Second and seven. Bars out wide. Play action fake. Short slant to Bill Bars. Feisman. Incomplete. Oh, he led Bars just a little too much. And it's going to be third and seven. Third and seven. Screen to Bill Bars on third and seven. They set the screen. Bars has it. Bars got the first down. Breaks a tackle. Finally dragged down from behind by Murloff. It's a gain of 10. And Nebraska fans were screaming for the fumble. But the whistle had blown. Oh, a controversial call here at Memorial Stadium. But it will not be a fumble. The drive stays alive. To the line of scrimmage come the Fighting Irish. And let's, Creeny's got to come out. We're going to bring in John Tereschuk. 
So Terrace Chuck is in. I formation. Actually, I don't want the I formation. Bill Bars goes out wide. Minix. Off tackle right. <laughs> off tackle right for Minix. Two hands on the ball. Picks up three. Nailed by Harper, but he held on to that ball. 246 left in the first half. 10 nothing Irish. Second and seven. Again, bars out wide. Theismann. On the bootleg. Theismann, bootleg. Can he turn the corner? No, he cannot. Glover brings him down at the line of scrimmage. Good job. Glover stayed at home. He didn't bite for the bootleg. Clock is running. As we approach two minutes in the first half. Minix out wide. Bars, the draw on third and seven. Delayed handoff. Bars picks up five. Glover makes his second tackle. They were doubling Gatewood. They were looking for the pass. They were playing nickel. But good reaction to deny the first down. Fourth and two, and here it comes. Let's see what we can do here. We can bring this down to 127 and then call timeout and then kick the field goal. That would take a good amount of time off the clock. Fourth and two. That's what we're going to do. We can't save the timeouts for the second half. So we're going to bring it down to 127. We're going to call timeout. And here comes the field goal team of John Hempel. 95% chance of making it. The snap to place the kick. And it is good! The Irish go up 13 to nothing to the Boo Birds here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska. So 13 nothing fighting Irish, a minute 18 left in the half. Take a swig of water. Back deep is Rogers, Kenny, and Holston, the short men. Hempel to kick deep. He's been kicking away from Rogers, and he does it again. He'll be one of the short men. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 40, and brought down. A great return once again by Kenny. 46 yards. They're kicking away from Rodgers, but it's Kenny doing the damage now. So with a minute five left in the half, the Cornhuskers can get back in this. They're down 13 to nothing. They have all three timeouts. Taggy and the Cornhuskers offense has struggled, and that's being kind. 4-3 set for the Irish. They will shift their down four right. Right will spy the quarterback. They're going to show blitz, but they're not going to blitz. Man, pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. He's under duress. He throws. Complete. He hits his tight end. Crowdy makes the tackle, but making the catch is Kadish. Taggy Zips that ball between two defenders. Notre Dame will not call timeout. But the Huskers do. They have two left. First and 10 on the Notre Dame 23. That big return by Kenny could change the tide of battle here. Split backs for the Corn Huskers. The down four will shift left. Once again, right will spy Taggy. They'll show blitz. They won't blitz. Man pass coverage. Taggy, it's a run. And not much there. Ellis brings down Kenny. Gain of three. Nebraska uses their second timeout. Second and seven from the Notre Dame 20. 41 seconds left in the half. Irish up 13 to nothing in our 1970 championship game. Second and seven. They'll show blitz again. Man coverage. Right to spy Taggy. Man pass coverage for Notre Dame. Taggy back to pass. He throws to the out. He floats it. 
over the linebacker. Kenny makes the catch, but is knocked out of bounds by Kelly. Gain of five, third and two, 30 seconds left. Getting out of bounds was crucial there. That saved the Cornhuskers their timeout. They could actually run the ball here and call timeout and still probably get two plays off before they'd have to send the field goal team on. 4-3 set for the Irish. Shift left. Right to spy Taggy. Man pass coverage on third and two. Taggy back the pass. He's under duress. He throws to the out. Picked off by Stepaniak. No, it's tipped by Stepaniak. Picked off by Kelly. Unbelievable. The Notre Dame defense holds once again. And Jerry Taggy shaking his head going back to the Nebraska Cornhusker sideline. Holy cow, that's Tim Kelly's first interception of this playoff tournament. We're going to show you a replay, but once again, in action PC football, the coloring of the teams change. But watch this. Taggy, under duress, moving around in that pocket. The ball is tipped by Stepaniak and then picked off by Kelly. So with 27 seconds left, in the half, the Fighting Irish deny the Cornhuskers, and that was their best opportunity to score. Stay in bounds. Play safe. Let's bring in Gullis and Allen. We're going to give the ball to Allen. On the dive play. Allen, just hold on to the ball, son. And he does. Picks up two, brought down by Perlard. And that will end the first half of football. So after 30 minutes of football, the Fighting Irish up 13 to nothing, 30 minutes away from the 1970 College Elite 8 Playoff Championship. And Notre Dame will kick off to Nebraska. Johnny Rogers back deep. They've kicked away from Rogers. Kenny has killed them on the returns. It's Kenny and Holston. And they're going to kick deep again. And Rogers comes up, fields it. 30. And brought down around the 32. Illegal block. Receiving team. And there's that illegal block bugaboo for the Cornhuskers. This time it's Perlard, and that's going to back them up once again inside their own 10. First and 10 for the Cornhuskers on their 9. It's Taggy under center, and he has not been bueno. Or Duna and Kenny, your split backs. Rogers and Ingles, your wideouts. List is the tight end. Let's just quickly look at some stats here. Kenny, I'm sorry, Taggy. Uh, 5 for 11, he's thrown two picks. He's thrown for 48 yards. Theismann, 10 of 18, 140 yards and a touchdown. Gullis, 10 carries, 31 yards. Theismann, 8 for 20. Allen, 6 for 11. Minix, 2 for 6. And Bars, 1 for 5. Notre Dame has rushed 27 times for 73 yards, 2.7 yards a carry. For the Cornhuskers, their mighty running game has been stifled. Only 25 yards on 15 carries, 1.7 yards per carry. Kenny has 18 of those painful 25 yards. Creeny had one drop early in the game, but he has three receptions for 50 yards. Allen has three receptions for 58 yards. Creeny has a touchdown catch. Gatewood. 2 for 11. Gaius, 1 for 4. Bars, 1 for 2. For the Cornhuskers, Kenny, 2 for 15. List, 2 for 18. Rogers, 1 for 15. Let's see if the Nebraska Cornhuskers offense can get on track here in the final 30 minutes of football. Down 4 for Notre Dame will shift left. Eaton up and run support. Man run coverage. 
Taggy hands it off and rinse and repeat. Not much there. A one yard gain for Arduna Ellis on the tackle. That's Clarence Ellis's fourth tackle. It'll be second and nine now for the Cornhuskers from their 10. Second and nine. The down four will shift right. Right will spy Taggy. Notre Dame shows blitz. They're going to play man pass. Taggy back to pass. He's looking, looking, looking. He throws! Incomplete. Very good coverage there as Taggy tried to force it in to Jerry List, but great safety coverage there by the Fighting Irish. So here's a third and nine for Nebraska. The Irish stay with the 4-3. The down four shift right. Right spies Taggy, a very mobile quarterback. The Irish haven't really blitzed, but we keep showing it. Man pass coverage. Mono e mono. Taggy moving around. And incomplete. Again, Taggy not comfortable in the pocket. Threw a little behind the intended receiver, Johnny Rogers, but Rogers dropped the ball. Should have made that catch. Maybe he heard footsteps. So here comes the punt routine. Notre Dame sets up for the return. They should have good field position here. Fielded near the 50. Flag on the play. Illegal block. Ugh. Receiving team. 10-yard penalty. Toman with the illegal block for Notre Dame. And that's going to back them up a bit. They're still going to have good field position, but not great field position. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Irish on their 41. Joining us here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska is our good friend, Steeler fan, 1933, and he says go Irish. We've done a good job with the Irish so far. We're up 13 to nothing. So Theismann under center, Allen and Gullis, your starters are back in the game. They're the split backs. Gatewood and Trap are your wideouts. And let's get Creaney back in the game. And Mike Creaney's the tight end. We're going to... No, I don't like that play call. Allen will go out wide. Gullis. Off tackle right. Extra blocker. That doesn't help at all. No, In fact, it's a loss of one. Nebraska flying towards the ball. Larry Jacobson makes his second tackle for the Cornhuskers. And they were doubling. They were looking past. So I'm glad we didn't go to Gatewood, except we did lose a yard. 14 minutes left in the third quarter. Irish up 13 to nothing. Theismann and the offense come to the line of scrimmage. Screen to Ed Gullius on second and 11. Gullius has it. Takes it upfield. He's close to the first. Gain of nine. Terrio brings him down. Good job on the screen. Makes it third and two. Bob Terrio now has three tackles. Again, they were doubling Gatewood. Third and two. Third and two. Allen goes out wide. Theismann on the dive play. Theismann! No! No gain. As once again, the Cornhusker defense don't bite for that nonsense. It is fourth and two, up 13 nothing. We are not going to give them the short field. We'll try to pin them back. Here comes Jim Yoder. He's really done a great job with the high deep punts. Johnny Rogers back there trying to make some magic happen. Here's the pump by Yoder. And Rogers once again has to wave his hand on the high kick. Fair catch for Johnny Rogers. Nebraska start another great punt by Jim Yoder. He's averaging 44.4 yards a punt, but they're high, and there are no returns on them. So Nebraska finds themselves in a very common place. First and 10 inside their 10. On their 7. Split backs, Orduna and Kenny. They have more black and blues than yards. Rodgers and Ingles are your wideouts. List is the tight end. 4-3 set for the Fighting Irish defense. The down 4 will slide to the right. Eaton comes up and runs support. Man run coverage. Taggy hands it off to Kenny, and he is smothered under. No gain. Wright wraps him up. That's Jim Wright's sixth tackle, and it will be now second and ten for the Cornhuskers. 
you're just joining us, the Cornhuskers had their best chance as the half came was coming to an end. They were driving, but Taggy was intercepted for the second time as Stepaniak tipped the ball, and I believe it was Kelly with the pick. Dick Rupert missed his block there for the Cornhuskers. Second and ten. Down four slides left. Wright will spy the quarterback. They're going to show blitz. We have not blitzed yet. And it's going to be man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. Moving around in the pocket. He throws. Complete to his tight end. It's going to be a big game. He takes it out to the 45. Tripped up by Crowdy. That is a 40-yard gain. As Taggy finally hits Jerry List, who was trying to go for six. But Mike Crowdy tripped him up. Holy cow. Boy, did Nebraska need that. And here come the Cornhuskers. First and 10 on their 47. Jerry Taggy has a little uh, skip in that step now. Eaton comes up and runs support. Irish playing a 4-3. They're going to look run. Down four will shift left. Man run coverage. It's a give to Orduna, and Orduna picks up five. As the Cornhuskers cross midfield, they're now second and five on the Notre Dame 48. Making the tackle for the Irish was Rick Tolman. That's tackle number five for Tolman. Second and five, Cornhuskers down 13 to nothing. 11-15 left in the third quarter. The down four shift right for the Irish. Eaton and run support. Man, run coverage. It's going to be an outside run. It's a good run. A tough run. Joe Arduna picks up seven. They look like they had him wrapped up in the backfield, but he breaks a tackle and follows his blockers to a first down. Jim Wright makes his seventh tackle for Notre Dame. Here come the Cornhuskers. 10.41 left in the third quarter. They trail by 13. Tagging the offense to the line of scrimmage. Down four, shifts left. Eaton and run support. Man run coverage for the Irish out of the 4-3. Orduna gets the carry, and he is kabosh by Toman and company. No gain. No gain. The quick trap play was a trap for the Cornhuskers. Rick Toman with six tackles now. Joe Orduna, again, 11 carries, 18 yards, and a plethora of black and blues. Second and 10. From the Notre Dame 41, Taggy surveys the situation. The down four slide right. The middle linebacker right will spy the quarterback. Notre Dame will show blitz once again. Man pass coverage. Taggy, it's going to be a screen. It's complete to Kenny. He's got some running room. He's got the first down and a bit more. Right trailing the play for the Irish makes the tackle. But the Cornhuskers pick up 15. Kenny now three receptions, 30 yards. Under 10 to play in the third quarter. Nebraska quickly to the line of scrimmage, trying to keep the momentum here. The down four, the Irish slide right. Eaton and run support. Man run coverage. Kenny has the carry, and he is brought down by Patulski. It's a gain of one. Walt Patulski with his third tackle. It's going to be second and nine. Again, the Cornhuskers quickly to the line of scrimmage. Irish down four, slide right. Going to play pass. Taggy back to pass. He's going to take off scrambling. We didn't spy him. And Wright brings him down. It's a gain of 10. Nuts. We didn't spy him that time. And Taggy finally gets his legs a-rolling. First and 10 for the Cornhuskers on the 15. 8.52 left in the third quarter. Cornhuskers trying to put up their first points of the game. Down four slides right for the Irish. Eaton will come up in run support. Man run coverage. It's a give to Orduna. Joe Orduna finds a seam. He's going to get to the end zone. Touchdown, Joe Orduna. Crowdy missed the tackle at the five. And finally, the Cornhuskers fans have something to cheer about. It's now 13 to six. Here is the replay of the Joe Orduna touchdown run. Great blocking. Finally, Orduna finds a scene. And he was chugging for the end zone for that Nest T plunge in six. Here's the extra point that will pull the Cornhuskers to within six. 
Snap the place, the kick, and it is dead center and good. It's now 13 to 7. We've got a ball game, folks. As Paul Rogers made the extra point, he now sets the ball on the tee. Back deep for Notre Dame is Parker. Short men are Dewan and Nightingale. The return is on. Fielded around the 5, 15, 20, 25. Dewan with a 21-yard return. Brought down by Branch of the Cornhuskers. And just like that, Nebraska's back in this game. First and 10 for Theismann and the Irish on their 27. Allen and Gullis, your split backs. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creaney's the tight end. They're going to look for Creaney here. Play action fake. Medium fly to the tight end. Flag on the play. Could have been moving. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat. First down. Donardo of the Irish. A little too excited there. False start. And it's going to be first and 15. It will be a screen to Ed Gullis on first and 15. And incomplete as the Nebraska defense goes after Theismann with fervor. So it's going to be second and 15 here. Second and 15. Screen to Danny Allen. Theismann, they set the screen. Allen has the catch, but nowhere to go as again the Cornhusker defense swarms all over the Irish pass receiver it is a loss of three jerry murloff will be credited with his eighth tackle and oh boy corn is coming alive with the sound of music here at memorial stadium it is a big third in 18 allen and gullis will stay in to help protect Theismann, medium fly to Tom Gatewood. Theismann, two extra blockers, throws it to Gatewood. He's open, it's caught. Oh, he dropped the ball. Gatewood dropped the ball on the big hit by Bullock. Oh, my Lord, they had the first down, but Bullock put a pop on Gatewood. Here it is once again. Oh, boy, he was open, but quickly closing, landing the kiboshing shot was Bullock. And it is now 4th and 18. And Gatewood, a bit groggy, goes to the sideline. Holy cow. Here comes the punt team and the dangerous Johnny Rogers back to return. Jim Yoder needs that high, deep punt. He needs Rogers to make that fair catch. But not this time. Rogers to midfield. 45-40. And he is brought down the ball does not come loose. Rodgers bobbled it but maintained possession. Rodgers with a 26-yard return and boy, what a hit by Bollock on Gatewood. They're giving Gatewood the smelling salt on the sideline of the Irish. Holy cow, here come the Cornhuskers. 4-3. Now it's up to Notre Dame's defense, which has been so stout. Down four slide to the left. Eaten up in run support. Man, run coverage. It's a run. And Notre Dame firing towards the ball. And they're going to say play over. A false whistle. And the Notre Dame sideline's not happy with that. Holy cow, folks. Holy cow. So we do it all over again. First and ten once again. Notre Dame down four slides to the left. Eaton comes up in run support. Man, run coverage. It's going to be a reverse, and oh, Bautuski decleats. Holy cow. Holy cow. Decleats Ingles nearly. Wow. Check your chicklets, Ingle. Walt Bautuski with his fourth tackle. Let's watch that replay. Notre Dame stayed at home. You can see Walt Bautuski, the defensive end, really putting a pop on Ingles. So second and 10 going off the field. We missed it was Dumbler, and he might have had the wind knocked out of him. He's favoring his ribs. Word from the sideline, he shall return, I guess. Second and 10, second and 10. Wright will spy Taggy. We're going to show Blitz. Man pass coverage. It's a run to Arduna. And he's going to pick up five. 
Stepanik, Stepaniak makes the tackle. He has a pick also. Ralph Stepaniak, that's his first tackle. So a big third and five here with 6.51 left in the third quarter. 13 to, five, uh, 13 to seven fighting Irish. Irish dominated the game until the Cornhuskers scored. We had good field position. We haven't put up points enough, but we need to hold now. Third and five. Down four, shift to the right, third and five. Eaton comes up and runs support. Right will spy the quarterback. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw. He's scrambling. He throws complete. And Kelly makes the tackle. They're going to be short on the first down. But the offense on fourth and inches stays on the field. Holy cow. So it's fourth and inches on the Notre Dame 27. Tension time here in Nebraska at Memorial Stadium. Cornhuskers trail by six. The Irish 13, Cornhuskers 7. 6.21 to play in the third quarter. We're going to go with a 5-2 basic, actually a 5-3 stack. Defensive line in tight. Goal line. It's a give up the middle. Did he make it? Yes. Kenny leaps over the top. And he just gets the first down. Wally Winter missed the block. But Kenny... Went leaping over and picks up the first down. Jim Wright will be credited with his 10th tackle. Holy cow. Here's the replay. It looked like the Irish were going to hold. But the extra effort by Kenny moves the chains. Irish go back to their 4-3, 5-49 left in the third quarter. Nebraska first and 10 on the Irish 26. They trail by 6. Taggy surveys the situation. The down four will shift left for the Irish. Split backfield for the Cornhuskers. Eaton and run support. Man run coverage. It's a delayed handoff. And that's going to be a big loss as Toman comes in and torpedoes the ball carrier. Kenny, a three-yard loss. The Boo Birds come out here at Memorial Stadium. It's going to be second and 13 under six to play in the third quarter now. Split backs, two wideouts, and a tight end for Nebraska. Right will spy Taggy. Down four, shift left. Notre Dame showing blitz. We haven't blitzed yet, and we're going to play man pass coverage. It's a run by Kenny, and a great job of the front seven of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish to react and hold it to a two-yard gain. Toman tripped up. The runner, Kenny. Kenny now nine carries, 19 yards. Rick Toman approaching 10 tackles. He has eight. A big third and 11 here. Going out wide is Jeff Kenny. He's a good receiver out of the backfield. The lone back is Joe Orduna. Third and 11. We're going to go to a 4-2 nickel. Defensive line will play in tight. Right will spy Taggy. We're going to show blitz. We're not going to blitz. Man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. Moving around in the pocket. Throwing over the middle. It is complete for the touchdown! He hits Jenny Rogers, who breaks the tackle of Crowdy. And we have a 13-13 ball game. Jerry Taggy, who threw two picks in the first half, has now come alive. Here's the taggy to Rodgers touchdown pass. He beats the nickel defense. Rodgers breaking the tackle of Crowdy, and he goes in for the nest tee plunge and six. This extra point for the Cornhuskers will put them up. The snap, the place, the kick, and it is good. It is 14-13 Cornhuskers with 421 left in the third quarter, and it is a shocked Notre Dame sideline. Paul Rogers puts the ball down for the kickoff. 
Parker deep, Dewan and Nightingale short. The return is on. From the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and brought down after a 21 yard return. Illegal is block. Parker. Receiving team. But eaten with the illegal block, and that's going to back up the bus, folks. So the Irish and Theismann now trail by one. We'll start first and 10 from their 14 with 4.04 left in the third quarter in our championship game. Play action fake. Allen and Gullis stay in the block. Medium fly to Creaney. They're going to stick with the play call. Theismann looking to go for it all. He throws. Tries to dump it down. Incomplete. Harper tipped it away. They were doubling Gatewood, so it's going to be second and ten. Second and ten. Screen to Ed Gullis. Stick with the play call. Theismann. Gullis has running room. Accelerates towards the middle of the field. He'll pick up seven. It'll leave a third and three. Tackle made by the Cornhuskers' Dave Morak. The seventh tackle for Dave Morak. So a big third and three as we're under four minutes to play in this third quarter. The Irish now trail by one. Third and three. Gullis on the delayed handoff. First down! Gain of four. Jacobson will be credited with the tackle for the Cornhuskers. The Irish come to the line of scrimmage. Short and quick to Gatewood. Theisman, great coverage there. Great coverage by the cornerback, Joe Blahock. Remember, it was Blahock who put the big hit on Gatewood. That nullified a huge play for the Irish. It's going to be second and ten, under three to play in the third quarter. Second and ten. Screen to Danny Allen. Theismann, back to pass. Allen has it. But that play is blown up by the Cornhuskers' Murloff as he went torpedoing through the blockers. He just threw his whole body into that pile, and he'll pick up his ninth tackle. And it is a loss of one. So a third and 11 now for the Irish. They trail by one. 2.36 left in the third quarter. They need 11. Let's add to the route. Play action. Not that anyone's going to bite for that. Medium slight to the t slant to the tight end. Creaney. Theisman back to pass. Under duress. He throws. And it's too high. Creaney cannot make the catch. Mason on the coverage. And Notre Dame will have to punt with 159 left in the third quarter. And it's going to be Yoder to punt to Rodgers. The dangerous Johnny Rodgers who has a touchdown catch. Rodgers fields it around the 35-40, 45-50. 45, 40, and he is brought down. Flag on the play. Holding, receiving team, 10-yard penalty. Wow, did Notre Dame dodge a bullet there? Holding on Murloff will nullify the 24-yard return by the dangerous Johnny Rogers. So Nebraska now starts first and 10 on their 31 with 145 left in the third quarter. Split backs are Arduna and Kenny. Rodgers and Ingles, your wideouts, list the tight end. Taggy, who had a horrible first half, has come alive in the third quarter. 4-3 set for the Irish. They will slide their down four to the right. Eaton comes up in run support. And it's going to be man-run coverage. Taggy gives it to Kenny. Kenny goes the other way, picks up three. So it's going to be second and seven. Rick Toman with his ninth tackle for the Fighting Irish. Second and seven. Second and seven. The down four again. Slide to the right. Eaton and run support. Man run coverage. Taggy gives it to Orduna. And Orduna is brought down. No gain as he has popped at the line of scrimmage. And it's Jim Wright with his 11th tackle. 
Under a minute to play. This could be the last play of the third quarter. Nebraska has taken the lead here in the third quarter, 14-13. to They trailed 13-0 going into the third quarter, and now they're up by one. Third and seven. The down four out of the 4-3 for the Irish shift to the left. Right will spy Taggy. Man pass coverage. Taggy back to pass. He's thrown two picks today. Taggy takes off running, but he will not make it. The ball is loose. Who has it? Nebraska falls on it. Oh, boy. Notre Dame. Boy, would they have liked to have gotten to that pigskin. But falling on the ball was Newton. Wow. And it was Jim Wright who was spying Taggy who put the Bone jarring hit on Jerry Taggy, and the pigskin popped free. And here comes the putt team for Nebraska. The return is on for Notre Dame. Big, big play there by the Irish flag on the play. For God's sakes, don't hit the freaking kicker. And they pick up the yellow hanky, and that ends the third quarter. So with 15 minutes of championship football left, it's the Cornhuskers 14 here in Memorial Stadium in Nebraska and the Fighting Irish 13. Taggy is now 9 of 17, 135 yards, two interceptions, and a touchdown. The touchdown to the dangerous Johnny Rogers. Theismann, 14 of 27, 152, a touchdown. So here we go, final 15 minutes of football. Irish trail by one and let's Danny Allen will go out. Is it bars? And Larry Parker will come in. So Larry Parker coming into the game for receiver. We're going to go a screen to Larry Parker on first and 10. Theismann to Parker. Parker accelerates upfield 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. And he has brought down a big play for the fresh legs of Larry Parker. And the fighting Irish get a huge gain of 42 yards. Theismann now 15 of 28 for 194. But boy, did Parker get that ball. It was great blocking. And he accelerated upfield the fresh legs of Larry Parker. Here's the replay. Parker gets the call, and boy, did he make the most of it. Makes the catch, quickly follows his blockers, and then, look at him. He accelerates. Pass midfield, could go all the way. Here comes a safety to make the tackle, Bill Kosh. And boy, what a tackle it was, but Notre Dame is in business. Notre Dame is in business. First and 10 on the Nebraska 36. They needed a big play as the offense had a stagnant third quarter. And that's when the Cornhuskers took the lead. So again, it's a split backfield of Parker and Gaius. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creeney's the tight end. Feisman under center. Surveys the situation. Hey, diddle diddle. One more time to Parker on the screen. Parker has it. Accelerates upfield once again. First down. He's brought down inside the 20. It's an 18-yard gain. Harper going off the field, holding his hand. And my God, Larry Parker has made a difference here in the fourth quarter. Two receptions, 60 yards. Bob Terrio brings down the rampaging Larry Parker. And I think we've used up all the Parker magic. <laughs> Let's not go to the well too often. Parker will come out. And Bill Bars will come in. So a split backfield of Bars and Guyot. Bars will go on the run counter. Trap left. Bill Bars on first and ten. And Bars has very little room. Holds on to the ball. Takes a big pop from Murloff. Only a gain of one. Jerry Murloff with ten tackles. And they were King Ed Gaius. Gullis. And we still couldn't, on the run counter trap play, we couldn't get that to pop. I thought it was going to pop. It didn't. Bars goes off. And my God, we need some Larry Parker magic here. Parker, two receptions and a plethora of yards. 7.7 .7 per carry. Ooh.
Gaius will go out wide. Parker. Sweep left. Larry Parker. Can his legs do it here? Parker's got the corner. Touchdown, Larry Parker. My Lord, this was the drive of his life. Larry Parker did it all like bogey and Pacal. They went back to Larry Parker saying a Hail Mary on the sideline. You can see Parker genuflecting before he came onto the field. And now he takes the Tim Tebow knee. Who's Tim Tebow, they're wondering at that point in time. But he takes the knee. It is a touchdown for Larry Parker. And the Irish go up 19-14. to Holy cow. Here it is. Larry Parker did it all. This drive, if the Irish win, will go down in history in Notre Dame fork, folklore. One more time, Larry Parker on the sweep takes the nesty plunge for six. Unbelievable. Oh, it's so sweet. Let's watch it again. The fresh legs of Parker produce pay dirt. Now do we go for two to make it 21-14? I think we shall try for two. Split backfield of Parker and Gaius. If we kick the point, though. If we kick... Oh, wow, we can't go back once we say, yeah, we're going for two. Oh, no, we can go. We can go. All right, if we kick the point... If we don't get the two-point conversion, two field goals beat us. Oh, no. Once we say we're going for two, we're going for two. All right. We're going for two. Uh, all right. We're going for two. We are going for two. I was going to go back to kick the point. Yeah, it's two. Can we call a timeout? <laughs> Can we call it? All right, we're going for two here. Let's see what we're going to call here. All right, we got, we have, um, holy crap, we can't even see who our backs are. All right, this is Gullis, I think. All right, so once you go for two, you can't change anything. All right, so we're set up to go for two. First time I've gone for two in this game. Theismann. No. Gaius. Ooh, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. I formation. Okay, we can do that. Quick. I formation quick pitch to Parker for two. Parker! Come on, Parker! And it is in, baby! Yes! Parker once again doing it all. We set up in the I formation and then we pitch it out to Parker for the two. It's 21 14. Here it is. Feisman the quick pitch to Parker. Wow, 21-14, and the Irish are back on top. Here's the kick. It's going to be a kick deep. Johnny Rogers will not field it. Nebraska takes it out past the 40-50, and another good return by Kenny. Kenny has really killed the Irish on these kick returns. We might squib one. So... The Cornhuskers, in quite a football game, now trail by 7. But they have it first and 10, and the Nebraska 48 with 13-13 left in the game. The Irish defense, 4-3. They will slide left, the down 4. On the field for the Cornhuskers, under center, is Jerry Taggy. The backs are split backs, or Duna and Kenny. Rodgers and Ingles are your wide out. List is the tight end. Eaton comes up in run support. Man run coverage for the Irish. It's a give to Kenny. Kenny goes to the right. 
He picks up an extremely painful yard, brought down by a very angry Fighting Irish Rick Toman, who now has 11 tackles. Second and nine. Second and nine. The down four again, slide to the left. 4-3 for the Irish. Second and nine. Right will spy Taggy. Again, Taggy, a very mobile, mobile quarterback. We show blitz, but we're not blitzing the mobile Jerry Taggy. Man pass coverage on second and nine. It's going to be a run for Kenny. Kenny bounces off one would-be tackler and picks up seven. Crowdy trips him up. So it's going to be a third and two. Third and two. Mike Crowdy has four tackles. Third and two. I think this is a two-down territory for the Cornhuskers. On the Notre Dame 40, Taggy and the offense come to the line of scrimmage. Fighting Irish, 4-3. They slide to the right. They're down four. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw. Taggy throws over the middle. It's going to be complete and caught. I think that's Johnny Rogers on the catch. And it is. Gain of 17. Ellis quickly brings him down. There's no yak yards after catch. But here it is. Taggy. Really settling in nice in this second half in that pocket. No more happy feet. He hits Rodgers. Remember, he connected with Rodgers for the touchdown. And now he connects with Rodgers for 17, and they move the chains. Cornhuskers trying to tie it up here. It is 21-14. First and 10 for the Cornhuskers on the Notre Dame 23. Split backfield, two wide out, one tight end set for Jerry Taggy and the Nebraska offense. 4-3 defense for the Irish. The down four will slide to the right. Eaton comes up and runs support. Man run coverage. It's a run. It's going to be Kenny. And Kenny is swarmed under. And it is a very, or it is Orduna, excuse me, is swarmed under. A very, very angry Jim Wright who slams Orduna down. Orduna is lucky to have the ball in his senses. It is a loss of four. Second and 14, under 12 to play in this championship game. Ball now on the Notre Dame 27. Notre Dame's down four slides right once again. Right will spy the quarterback. They're going to show blitz. They're not going to blitz. Man pass coverage on second and 14. Taggy moving around. He's under duress. Taggy throws towards the middle. He dumps it to the running back. It's a gain of nine. Orduna, the safety valve. As Taggy was hit by Niedert as he was throwing. So Taggy keeps the play alive. Toman for Notre Dame picks up his 12th tackle. Joe Arduna with his first reception of nine yards. Joining us here at Memorial Stadium. Witnessing this tremendous championship game. We have RJL518. Check out that wonderful channel. SDG Replays, another wonderful YouTube creator. And of course, all things military strategy, ID Gesture. Thank you for joining us. Third and five, 11 to play. Notre Dame's down four, slides to the left. Taggy with split backs, two wide outs in the tight end. You got to watch the dangerous Johnny Rogers here. Rogers on the lower part of your screen. Kenny's also very dangerous out of the backfield. Right will spy Taggy. It's been a tale of two halves for Taggy. Horrible in the first. Very, pretty good, if not very good, in the second. Again, we show blitz. We're not going to blitz. Man pass coverage on third and five. Taggy in the pocket. Flag down. He throws over the middle. It's complete, but I think there might be a holding. Stepaniak on the tackle. Encroachment. Defense. Oh, five it's encroachment penalty. on the Irish. Knee dirt, who couldn't get the sack, now encroaches. And it's going to be declined as they picked up seven in the first down on the pass from Taggy to Ingles. And that is Ingles' first reception. As I.D. Jester has just informed us. He says, I did a baseball game on my channel yesterday just to, just for all of you. Awesome. I will be checking that out. So I.D. Jester, 
Uh, we'll once in a while I'll put up a baseball game, and that is awesome. We'll be checking that out. Please go over, hit that like button for ID, and check out a phenomenal uh, content creator. So first and 10 for the Cornhuskers looking to tide here. They're down 21-14 in the battle for the 1970 mythical championship game. That never really did happen. Notre Dame's down four. We'll slide to the right. Eaton comes up and runs support. Man run coverage. Taggy is going to pitch it wide to Orduna. And uh, he gets two yards as he dives forward. Joe Orduna, 16 carries, 36 yards, and a touchdown. Rick Tolman with his 13th tackle. Second and eight as we approach the 10-minute mark in the game. The down four of the Irish again slide to the right. Eaten up in run support. They might throw here, but we got to play run. Man run coverage. Taggy gives it to Kenny, and he is smothered under. The front seven blows through the Nebraska blockers. And Kenny is stifled at the line of scrimmage. Rick Toman quickly picks up tackle number 14. His ID gesture doesn't understand why it hasn't loaded up in the baseball game, but it will be there, so check it out. Third and eight. Again, I think this is two down territory. Third and eight from the Notre Dame nine. Down four slides left for Notre Dame. Third and eight. Right will spy Taggy. Show blitz, don't blitz. Man pass coverage. Taggy in the pocket, under duress, he takes off, scrambling, and he is brought down by Kadish. A gain of three, the pocket was collapsing. Taggy almost thought about forcing it into the end zone, but then took off running, and he was brought down. And here comes the field goal team for Nebraska to cut the lead to four. Notre Dame's going for the block, the snap, the place, the kick, and it is good, dead center. As Paul Rogers now makes it a 21-17 game. A four-point lead with 9-12 to play in this championship game. 9-12 to play in this championship game. Paul Rogers to do the kicking off. Parker deep. Dewan and Nightingale short. The Cornhuskers kick it deep. From the 10, 15, 20, and that's it. Parker goes no further. Parker was the hero. On the last drive, he did it all. So is, we're going to keep Parker back. He's Gaius and Parker. We get to run him two more times. Screen to Larry Parker. Theismann doesn't like what he sees. He's going to go dive play. He's going to audible to Ed Gaius. And Guy Gullis, Gaius, tomato, tomato, potato, tomato. Potato, potato, whatever. He picks up three. So Theismann audibles out of it. Ed Gullius, excuse me, 13 rushes, 37 yards. The ground game has, except for Larry Parker, it's been a tough, tough hole for both teams. So again, second and seven. Theismann and the offense. On their 23, 850. Let's go to the slow. Let's take our time here, folks. Parker on the screen again. Theisman rolling. Flips to Parker. Incomplete again. Wow. Theisman under a lot of pressure there. Willie Harper has been chasing Theisman all over the field. That's his fifth hurry. They were doubling Gatewood on the other side. So a big third and seven here. Big third and seven. Third and seven. Play action pass, short slant to Mike Creaney, the tight end. Play action, Theismann over the middle, complete, but it's only six. Big tackle by Dave Mason. Oh, my Lord, Creaney couldn't get that extra yard. It is fourth and one. Oh, I want to go for it, but if I don't make it, I will be executed. <laughs> we will punt. Oh, fourth and one. Got to punt. Yoder 
will punt. Rodgers fields it at the 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and brought out close to midfield. 23-yard return. Niedert makes the tackle. Good hustle by Niedert. But here come the Cornhuskers. Era Parsegian thought about it on the sideline. You can't get stopped in that deep in your own territory. And what a tackle uh, made by the Cornhuskers denying Creeny that one more yard. We thought we had a good call there. So Cornhuskers trail by four. It's the Irish 21, Cornhuskers 17. Jerry Taggy and the offense take it first and 10 on their 48. Orduna and Kenny, your split backs. Rogers and Ingles, your wide outs. And the tight end is List. Oh boy, what a finish we have on our way. The down four will shift left. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage, 4-3 defense. It's a run by Orduna. And Orduna is stuffed. The ball is loose. Who has it? And coming away. From the pig pile is Dumbler of Nebraska. Holy cow, Kelly had his hands on it for a moment, but it's Dumbler who comes away for the Cornhuskers from the pile, and they maintain the pigskin. Wow. So it's second and nine as, whew, the Nebraska fans breathe a sigh of relief, as they say. So tagging the offense to the line of scrimmage. Notre Dame down four slides to the left. Second and nine. Eating up and run support. Man run coverage. God damn it, Taggy's going to throw. Throws, and it's caught, but Stepaniak makes the tackle. We look, they went with a slant there, and Guy Ingles cut his route off. It's only a gain of six. So it's third and three, under seven minutes to play. Third and three. Taggy has been quite good in the second half. Third and three. Notre Dame, four, three, down four. Slide to the left, third and three. Eating up and run support. Man, run coverage. It's a delayed handoff to Arduna, and he will not get there. It is only a struggle for a yard knee dirt. With his fourth tackle, it's now fourth and two. Nebraska sends the punt team out. We will watch for the fake. Here's the punt. And it goes out inside the 10. Looks like it's at the 7. No, they're going to say it went out at the 10. So Notre Dame has the ball. And a four-point lead, 21-17, 5.56 away from the championship. It's Theismann and the Irish. Parker and Gaius. Gatewood and Trap, your wideouts. Creeny is the tight end. I formation. Quick toss to Parker. Stick with the play call. I formation. Quick toss to Parker. 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 Oh, boy. Gain of two. A big hit by Murloff. Jerry Murloff tried to dislodge the ball, but Parker held on tightly to that pigskin. Murloff with 11 tackles. Notre Dame taking their time. Taking their time. Clock going tick, tick, tick. Second and eight. Parker up the middle on second and eight. Parker struggles and not much there. In fact, no yardage at all. Willie Harper, with some help from his Cornhusker friends, makes his fifth tackle. Just over five minutes to play in the game. 21-17. They will now go split backs. Screen to Larry Parker on second, on third and whatever. Parker has it, and he will not get the first. He only picks up five on third and eight. Fourth 
and three. Notre Dame cannot get the first down. Here comes the punt team. Oh boy. Jim Yoder needs the punt of his life here. The dangerous Johnny Rogers back deep. Here's the punt. Rogers fields it around the 40, 45, 50, 40, and he's brought down in Notre Dame territory. A 20 yard return for the dangerous Johnny Rogers. He had a big opening and he took advantage of it. And here we go, 3.45 left in the game. Irish 21, Cornhusker 17 for the championship of the NCAA college football season 1970 Elite Eight. It has come down to number one, Nebraska, and number two, Notre Dame in the final AP poll of that year. Split backs, Orduna and Kenny. Rodgers and Ingles, your wide outs, list the tight end. Jerry Taggy under center. Both teams have all three timeouts. Notre Dame, 4-3. Down four, slide left. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw. Taggy scrambles. Taggy throws. Dumps it down. Incomplete. Actually, he throws across the field. That's very dangerous. Almost with a chance to pick it was Clarence Ellis. So it's second and 10. 3-38 to play in the game. Right will spy Taggy, second and ten. We're going to show Blitz, man pass coverage. It's a handoff to Orduna. He's got an opening, and he's going to pick up a nice chunk of yards, eight yards before Kelly of the Fighting Irish makes his sixth tackle. As ID Gesture here in the stadium reports, coming down the wire here, folks. What a ball game it's been. So third and two, definitely two down territory, split backs. As the Cornhuskers come to the line of scrimmage. The down four, the Irish, will slide left. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw. He throws to the out. Complete to Ingles. And he is tackled by Stepaniak. But he picks up the first. It's a gain of six. And he steps out of bounds. So he gets out of bounds as he's pushed out of bounds. 2.56 left in the game. Cornhuskers need a touchdown to go ahead. Ralph Stepaniak with his fourth tackle. 2.56 left. Cornhuskers with all three timeouts. Notre Dame down four shifts left. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage. Taggy's going to throw again. No one's going to get to him. He throws to Rodgers. And that's a touchdown. B. Rogers is in for his second touchdown catch. It's now 23 21. The crowd is going insane here at Memorial Stadium in Nebraska. Taggy to Rogers over the outstretched arms of the cornerback and safety. And Johnny Rogers for the second time takes the nest plunge. Here's the crucial extra point. That will put the Cornhuskers up by three. The snap, the place, and the kick by Paul Rogers. And it just sneaks in there. Holy cow. 24-21. Notre Dame and Joe Theismann will have 244 to win this game. And all three timeouts. Here's the kickoff. The Irish set up for the return. From the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 goes Parker. Tripped up by Decker. 234 left in the game. The Irish can tie it with a field goal, win it with a touchdown. They're going to double Gatewood. Screen to the magic man, Larry Parker. Theisman doesn't like what he sees. Fly to Gatewood. He's calling for the medium fly to Gatewood. And it's going to be caught as Gatewood breaks it off. Six yards. Black makes the catch. They go to the hurry up. And let's play get out of bounds. Parker. That's not a good play call. 
Creaney, that's even a worse play call. Gatewood, short out to Gatewood. Theisman, back to pass. Dumps it to Parker. Parker gets the first down. And he gets out of bounds. So Theisman padding the ball, padding the ball. Pocket collapsing. Sends it out to Parker. And it's at Larry Parker Magic. Bob Terrio forced him out. Clock stops with 2.03 to play. Again, the Irish can use the whole field. They have all of their timeouts. First and 10 for the Irish on their 41. Screen to Ed Gullius. Theisman. Gullis with the reception. Take it up field. Take it up field. Take it up field. He fumbles. And oh my God. Nebraska falls on it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Gullis is stripped of the ball near midfield. Just past midfield. Oh my Lord. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, 141 to play. Here is the replay. And Nebraska is a minute 41 from the national championship. Look at Gullis, look at Gullis, look at Gullis. Near midfield, he fumbles, the ball bounces around. Nebraska falls on it. It is Atkins will be credited with the fumble recovery. you got to be freaking kidding me. Uh, we got three timeouts. We need a fumble here. Down four, shifts to the left. Eaten up in run support. Man run coverage. It's a give to Kenny. And Kenny rips off a big run. Picks up 14. Notre Dame will quickly call timeout. Rick Tolman with his 15th tackle. Eric Parsegian. And that Notre Dame sideline is sick to their stomach. Guy has fumbled the freaking ball. And he is his head's down. They're trying to console him, but there's no consoling that. And Notre Dame uses their first timeout. They have two left. Notre Dame needs a biblical miracle here. They slide to the left. Eaten up and run support. Man run coverage. It's a pitch out to Kenny. Kenny will not gain the corner. Kadish kiboshes him. Loss of four. Notre Dame will use their second timeout. Down four slides to the right. Eaten up and run support. Rinse and repeat. Man run coverage to the left. Taggy's going to throw. Oh, God. Pick it off. 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 What the hell was that? What happened there? Touchdown, Nebraska. What the freaking happened? That's horrible. What happened there? They ran a flea flicker. Holy cow. Orduna pitches it back to Taggy. Taggy goes downfield for Rodgers, who has his third touchdown reception. And what a way to end the game. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> they went for the jugular, and they have just ripped it wide open. Johnny Rodgers, 122 yards on five receptions and three touchdowns. They ran a flea flicker. Here it is, folks. So Orduna has the handoff, flips it back to Taggy, who then fires it down the middle. Again, the animation doesn't show it properly. And Rodgers gets his third touchdown as Notre Dame's up to defend the run. Here's the extra point. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> The Cornhuskers are now going to win by 10, most likely. What a second half for Nebraska. They have scored 31 points. We shut them out in the first half. We had a 21-14 lead in the fourth quarter. What a game. Nebraska, wow. As ID Gesture says, Al gets beat. By the flea flicker, oh my god, that is classic. I, I I wouldn't expect that. That was, wow. They could have just ran the ball and run the clock out. Here's the return. We need a miracle. They squib it. 
The fumble killed us. We were we I we were gonna march down and tie this game, but Gaius fumbled the freaking ball. We need some Larry Parker magic here. Larry Parker out wide. What can Parker do here? A long fly to Larry Parker. Theisman back to pass, looking for the miracle man Parker. He throws. He throws. Deflected by Mason. And incomplete. 34 seconds left. 34 seconds left. Again, Parker goes out wide. Gaius will stay in the block. That way you can't fumble the freaking ball. Gatewood, they're going to heave it up on the long fly. Oh, boy. Theisman, under duress. He throws. That ball is... What the hell happened there? Caught, fumbled. Oh my lord, intercepted. Everything's gone nuts. It was intercepted, fumbled, but Nebraska comes away with it. Here it is, and this is the craziest finish to a college football championship we've seen in quite a long time. So the ball is tipped, it's picked. Then Gatewood puts a pop on the intercepting man. The ball comes loose. Parker racing over, tries to recover it, but to no avail. Nebraska just dives into the line. We will, we will, yeah, what the hell, call timeout. Here it is, the last play of the game. Again, Taggy just falls down into the line. And this ball game is over. Nebraska, in one of the greatest collegiate comebacks in the history of the NCAA football, wins 31-21, to crushing the hearts of the fighting Irish fans from all around the world. The Irish were less than a quarter away from winning the national title, and they lose by 10. Wow. So let's just go to this score. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Only I can lose in such horrific fashion. What a fun game, though. Let's bring up the stat pack. Here we go. All right, well, that's what happens, folks. All right, so Nebraska, Nebraska at the 9-12 mark was down 21-17. to At 2-44, they would take the lead 24-21 when Jerry Taggy connected up with Johnny Rogers for the third time, second time, excuse me. And they went up 24-21 as the extra point was good. We're driving. We're at midfield. We run a screen to Ed Gaius. He's going to be close to the first down, if not pick it up. We have all three of our timeouts. And he fumbles the ball. And the ball game's basically over. Then, just to rub, kick us in the nuts and rub salt in the wounds, Nebraska runs a flea flicker. Taggy hands it off to Arduna. Joe Arduna pitches it back to Jerry Taggy, who then hits Rodgers deep down the middle for touchdown number three. And here we go, team stats. My lord, look at this. Notre Dame, 342 in offense. Nebraska, 344. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable. Jerry Taggy was horrible in the first half, great in the second half. Our defense was great in the first half. We didn't catch a break in the second half. And again, the fumble killed us. Larry Parker tried to do it all. He put the Fighting Irish ahead. Let's look at some Larry Parker stats. Wow. But what they will remember is the Ed Gaius fumble. Here are the player stats. Larry Parker in the second half. Four receptions, 70 yards. And then he also had a rushing touchdown and the two-point conversion. Joe Theismann, 21 of 37, 243, a touchdown and a pick. Jerry Taggy ended up 16 of 25, 243, three touchdowns, all touchdown tosses to the speedy, dangerous Johnny Rogers and two picks. Unfreaking believable game. 
Let's look at the tap. Oh, no, 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 no. I clicked on the wrong button. Let's see if we can get back in there. Here we go. Holy cow. We're back in, I think. Okay. All right. We should be back. All right. Well, let's just go down and see tackles. Hopefully, let me make sure this is still up. Yes, it is. All right. The Irish leading tacklers, Toman with 15, Wright with 14. Um, they had two picks. Kelly had a pick on a deflection by Stepaniak, and Stepaniak had a pick. Leading tacklers for Nebraska, Murloff with 12, and Mur Murrock and Terrio with 7. What a game. And we'll leave you with the scoring. So thank you very much. Health and happiness. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Stay safe. Be smart. Check out all the wonderful YouTube content creators if you're watching later. Their names are in the chat. Lots of wonderful YouTube content creators. SDG Replays, ID Gesture, RJL518, Jack Dawson, Philip Reynolds, Bleacher Bums Gaming, Dave Gardner. Thank you very much to everyone. Captain Carl8, Steeler Fan 1933. And remember, Glory Days Boxing. Fun card and dice uh, boxing game. Bantamweight set soon to come out. So until next time, peace! Nebraska comes back to win a thriller 31 21. And the 1970 College Elite Playoff Mythical National Championship.